back to another video. It's Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you a project I've been thinking about for quite a while. So recently uh, I've been going to some like local bookstores and stuff like that and I keep finding these adorable little pins that have something to do with books or writing or something like that and uh, you know as, as an author myself she said as pretentiously as possible. Um, I wanted to find somewhere to put these to display them and I don't really have anything like that. Um, and I was like, okay, so maybe I could get a cork board. It doesn't really go with the vibe. I don't really love cork boards. I don't really use them. So I was trying to think of what do I use and boy, do I love clothes and boy, do I love my jean jackets. And if you see the back panel here, you're just gonna see, wouldn't this make a beautiful bookshelf? Um, so this is kind of what I wanna do. I wanna use these lines that are already here and I want to create um, like a book bookshelf design on the back here. Um, and then I want to use the front to display all of my little bookish pins that I'm getting. Alright, so I've kind of built my palette here. Um, the only thing I haven't done yet is mixed up my minty green here. I'm going for a lot of pastels over top of denim, which naturally means I am going to need to put a boatload of white down first. Okay, so I want to start this out by going over all of my, um, I guess, like bookshelf lines here. Um, I also have gold. Can't forget that. Um, but yes, I want to go over all of my bookshelf lines here and just kind of demarcate where I want these shelves to go. I think I'm only gonna do like two shelves on these and then now I'm gonna do three shelves on the sides and then two in the middle. Uh, just to kind of add a little bit of visual interest but kind of keep it remotely symmetrical. All right, I've got some flat brushes and we're gonna start mapping out all of our books. Um, I don't want them to cover the whole thing. I think I'm just gonna do like maybe halfway through um, and kind of keep that starting from the middle and working our way out. Okay, I am loving it so far. Now I am going to go in with my block brushes again, and I'm going to start adding color on top of, on top of the books. I was afraid it was looking a little too rainbowy, um, but then when we added in like the darker colors, I think it really kind of brought it back to life here a bit. Um, I still feel like it might be a little too much, um, but I'm hoping that if I come back in with a detail brush and kind of add some more of those dark colors into these um, brighter book covers, then it will kind of pass a little bit more. I'm just going to start picking some random books and kind of adding some of those details in that I was just referring to. So, you know, stripes, maybe some like dots in some places, feeling like, um, you know, like a nice, nice line down some of these. Oh, 
Alright, so here I just did a variety of dots, lines, and varying directions. Not all of them got something. I don't necessarily think they all need something. I'm still kind of stuck on the flowers though. And I also really wanted to take this lighter brown and I was going to kind of go in and add all of my um, like kind of details in the wood here. Um, you know, just kind of like dry brush a lot of it on here. Alright, there we have it. Um, yeah, I am a fan. I kind of want to go over it with like a sharpie and kind of add like those final crisp lines. I kind of want to take, take some of these colors I have going on here and start just popping around some flowers. I don't know man, there's something about the crisp edge of a sharpie that I think is really going to make this baby feel more put together. All right, y'all, it is day two. I let this dry overnight so it would be nice and flat. I did get, get a little bit of uh, paint here uh, that awkwardly left a mark. I like I picked it up with my brush and just scooped and fell and I'm a little sad about it. But overall, everything kind of came together. I found that a black alcohol marker um, saved the day in terms of all of the uh, outlines. I do think that the outlines made this look a million times better. I'm quite a fan. Um, in fact, you can see that I need a little bit of darkness here, so I'm going to fix it. We have this guy from my Parfu brush marker set um, that I tried a long time ago. Uh, it's just a regular alcohol marker. And look at that. Draws right on top. Doesn't give me any grief. No problems whatsoever. And uh, today we are going to be doing our flower palette. So I did a lot of pastels for the, um, the books as well as some of my uh, darker colors. But I would really like to change it up a bit and do some deeper colors more so for the flowers. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of block these on top of a lot of the flowers. I don't wanna go so much over the wood. Um, sorry, on top of the book. So here I'm just kind of popping in rose number one. And I'm probably gonna go over it with another layer because for some reason, overnight, I forgot that I'm trying, that I was trying to add in white first so that I didn't have to do as many layers of these colors. But you know, you live and you learn, I guess. Again, this is just the blocking part. The details are going to come after, so I'm not gonna stress about them being perfect or anything. In case you're wondering about how long this stuff is taking me, uh, that took me about a half hour. Um, so now I need to sit and wait again for it to dry. Um, and then once it dries, we're gonna go in and add our details with my alcohol marker. All right, all of my lines are added in. It's starting to really come together. Now I'm just going back in with my gold one more time to kind of add just some light details around some of the flowers. All 
All right, details painting formally is done. I'm gonna finish up after it dries. Again, just gonna leave it for a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to fix any uh, messier parts of the flowers. Y'all, I really like it. I know it's kind of simple and it doesn't fill the whole back, but I think that the effect that I wanted is there. Um, so there's one last thing that I wanted to do. You just might, don't mind me readjusting a little bit here. I still haven't even taken the tag off. Um, but I'm gonna kind of shove her up here, flatten her out at, I believe this is called the yoke, uh, fun fact, of, of a shorter jacket, this like top part that isn't the bottom panel. And I cut something out of vinyl to add to it just because I thought it would be fun. Like it, I like it a lot. Oh, it's so fun. And while I was hunting around in my basement, um, I found a couple of other bookish kind of buttons. That'll, that'll do it, but uh, yeah. This is the start of my new mini project. And I'm super excited to wear it. In fact, I am gonna wear it today, why not? Um, I just need to find the right outfit to wear it with. Probably just gonna go for some leggings. I am gonna be in the car for a little bit today. Um, so something nice and comfy, uh, maybe like a, I don't know, a nicer top underneath. Maybe a plain white tee, I don't know. But yeah, that was it. Um, hopefully you guys like what you saw. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I would love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much, and I hope to see you then. Bye.